Hello everyone. In this video session, I am going to practically demonstrate a Java program to print a number pattern, which looks like this. So before we write the code, we need to find few details for understanding this pattern. First thing is how many rows are there in this pattern? First thing we need to find out is how many rows are there in this pattern? There are one, two, three, four, five. Total five rows are there in this pattern. Second thing is how many numbers are there in each and every row? Numbers. Okay. According to the rows, the first row, there is one number. What about second row? There are two numbers. Third row, there are three numbers. Fourth row, four numbers. Fifth row, five numbers, like this. And one more thing, if you notice here, the first number in the first row is one. Followed by that, in the second row, there are two more numbers, but they are like increment of the previous numbers. That is, if one is there here, if you increment this one by one, it will become two here. If you increment this two by one, it will become three here. Like that, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. So how to write the Java code for printing this kind of pattern? Let me demonstrate it to you directly. First thing here, before I write any code, here we were discussing that there are five rows. Right in this pattern, there are five rows. So here to accommodate that, we need to create a for loop like this for int i is equal to one, i less than or equal to five. How many times this for loop should iterate? Five times. So this is a for loop. This for loop iterates how many times? Five times. Because there are five rows here, that means this for loop also should iterate five times. That's the reason, guys, why we have created a for loop for iterating five times because the number of rows required are five. That's why this is a for loop. Now inside the for loop, what next is we need to print this numbers case. Okay, we need to print the numbers. For that, we'll create one more for loop. Int j is equal to one. In the first row, how many numbers should be printed? The first row only one. What about second row? The second row only two. Third row three. Fourth row four. Fifth row five. Like that. That means the first iteration when i is equal to one. How many numbers should be printed? Same as j less than or equal to I have to say. Okay, j plus plus. If you write the for loop like this, inner for loop like this, when i is equal to one, this inner for loop will run only one time. When i is equal to, this inner for loop will iterate two times. When i is equal to three, this inner for loop will iterate three times because here starting from j is equal to one till j is less than or equal to i. That is in the first iteration, i is one. That means j is one. So starting from one to one means only one time this for loop will iterate. When i becomes two, here j will become two, right? So starting from one till two, that means two times this for loop will iterate. When i becomes three, this for loop will iterate three times until the j is less than or equal to three. That means starting from one till three, this for loop. So on this basis, guys, we have written the inner for loop. Here, what should be printed actually? Here we have to print a number, right? It's clear that this for loop is going to iterate the number of times the i is mentioned. That's fine. Okay, till now it's fine. But here we need to print some number guys. That number should increment every time, right? So here we have to print a number, but that number should increment every time. If one is printed, then next number should be two. The next number should be three, then four, five, six. It's keeping on incrementing that, right? So for that reason guys, we'll create a variable here. Say int c is equal to, inshallah I'll set it to one. And here I'll simply print C. In the first iteration, when i is equal to one and j is equal to one, j less than or equal to one, only one time this for loop will iterate, right? At that time, the initial value of C will be printed. That is one will be printed. One will be printed. Then in the second iteration, when i becomes two, okay, here one to two. Here, what I'm going to do is C plus plus I will write. After printing one here, after printing one in the first iteration, C will increment by one, guys. So C will become and second iteration will start, I will become two and two numbers should be printed. So two will be printed here and immediately C++, C will become three. Here, one more iteration is possible. So three will be printed. Then I will become three. So here, four, five, six, three iterations, four, five, six, like that, okay? Every iteration you have to make this C++, C++. When you're printing the numbers, after printing a number, the next number should be C++, that is incremented by one. And also guys, one more thing, after printing one here, we have to move to the new line, right? 
After printing two, three, again we have to move to the new line. After printing four, five, six, new line. For that reason, guys, after this for loop, inner for loop, we'll provide a system dot out dot print ln statement. Okay, like this. Now run this code, and we should get the output to the maximum extent. But one more thing is there. After getting the output, I will uh, update the code. Okay, so there is one more small thing that I'll update after getting the output. Run this code. You see, one got printed, two, three got printed, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. Is there any small difference between this pattern and this pattern? Yes. The difference here is, if you clearly observe, in between the number, there are spaces, guys. The spaces are missing in the displayed pattern. Okay, here spaces are there. The expected pattern has a spaces, whereas the actual pattern that got printed doesn't have spaces. For that reason, guys, after you print the number here, that is C here, just provide some space. That's it. Okay, append some space, guys. When you run this time, you see, one, two space, three, four space, five, space, six. So this looks perfectly right now, okay? This is expected pattern and actual pattern is actually matching with the expected pattern. So hope guys, you understood how to write a Java program to print a number pattern like this. So that's it guys, thank you, bye.